Hi guys, welcome to a best possible squad builder by myself, Bates 87 This is the best possible team you can get on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team, and it's the first one of the videos we do. We usually do a few of them over the year. Um, I have not done one, actually, since the start of FIFA, I don't think, apart from the best possible team. But I wanted to do this one because, one, I'm a Liverpool fan, and two, this team is pretty insane because I think it's a full special card team. It is. It's full of special cards all the way throughout it, and it can uh, feature some nice players which you guys might want to get your hands on. One of them, you actually can't get your hands on him because it's passed. He was a foot swap player. You guys will probably know who that is already going into centre mid position, um, but the rest are very achievable, whether you want to get them apart from Markovic there. But the rest of them you can get off the market. Um, we haven't got versions of uh, of Keita, uh, but we have got a lot of Champions League versions. Shakiri as well doesn't make it in. Wijnaldum doesn't make it in, but he, I think he could have made it in. Could he have made it in? Yeah, I think he could have made it in if I had decided to go with a three at the back, which would have had uh, Lovren in there as well. But because of an informed player which came in this week, the team did change a little bit. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscription button, hit the bell button as well so you never miss an upload, and feel free to leave a like rate in the video. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Try and hit over 2K likes. That'd be brilliant. So... With this, we can keep, literally keep it on special, but we're not going to bother, guys, because uh, we are going to move over to the Premier League and we are going to move over to Liverpool. So, a rough week, guys, a rough week. We've got two versions of Alisson we can use. We've got the, well, is it literally, yeah, that one's a better, isn't it? It's like one stat better. Yeah, literally that. So, we're going to go with the inform Alisson uh, in the goalkeeper position. Pulled off some really, really good saves up against PSG this past week, but obviously uh, it was too strong. PSG were too strong and uh, did pick up a 2-1 win, which sends us to our final game in the Champions League group against Napoli. If we win 1-0, we progress. If we win 2-1, we go out. So we've got to win by two goals if we don't win 1-0. So it could be a very interesting game to see Liverpool do advance into the knockout stage of the Champions League uh, this season. Um, and hopefully the team can come good. But Liverpool have had some insane inform cards. Which we're going to see. In the centre-back position, we have got Inform Matip. Um, didn't really expect to see him in the best possible team because he hasn't really been getting much game time for Liverpool. But he does go in there. We'll actually put him... We'll try and keep the team as it is uh, in real life as well because, as you know, we have got Inform Van Dijk and second Inform Van Dijk. And guess what? Both of the Informs that he did get were from international duty. So we've got no dynamic images on him. But we're going to go with second Inform Van Dijk in the centre-back position. And on the right-hand side, we get to use... A red inform, my first ever red inform Liverpool player, and it is Trent Alexander Arnold. Um, scored an insane free kick against Watford to earn him that uh, card, and uh, it's not that bad. I haven't played with him as well because the one I actually used was the inform version, uh, and then I was lucky enough to get this one. Three star skills, three star weak foot. Um, all right, starts 84 pace, but I don't think many people want to go near him uh, for an active left back, uh, sorry, right back in their teams. In the left back position, this is the one I wanted the most as a red, and it was Robertson. Actually, not the most, but yeah, I would have loved a red Van Dyke or a red Robertson, and we actually got none of them. The only red we've got at Liverpool is Trent. So um, we've got Robertson, 86 pace, 81 dribbling. Come up against him a lot in the past weekend league where I went 30 and 0. He was insane. 149k I paid for him. How much is he now? Oh, not bad then. I made a bit of money on him if I wanted to sell him, but I don't think I will. Um, so Robertson jumps on in there. Uh, pretty good defence uh, on FIFA. Uh, obviously, the best defender in the world gets put on the bench, which is uh, uh, Lovren. Um, so he doesn't get a look in the team. And now we move into the centre midfield position. On the left-hand side, we're going to go with Adam Lalana, a foot swap item, which was 86 rated. And uh, you can only get him and achieve him through doing it. He was month one. I don't think he's going to add any more Liverpool players in for month two. Uh, who knows? We might do. But Adam Lalana's got some very, very good stats. He got two assists for me. Um, but his, like I heard Marshall playing with him and said he was very, very good. And he was when I played with him as well. In the centre mid next one, guys, we've got the Champions League Fabinho. Now, this card's an interesting one. I paid, did I pack him? No, I paid 293k for him. He's now well over 300. Um, he is a player where if Liverpool progress into the Champions League uh, next round, he goes to an 87. But if Liverpool don't and drop into the Europa League, if we come third in the group, he drops down and becomes a UEFA uh, Europa League card. Which would change the whole design of the card. Probably the same dynamic. Maybe actually, the, I think the dynamic image might change as well because he's actually got a Champions League badge on there. But Fabinho would drop down to an 86 rated and then go up after that, depending on how Liverpool do in the Europa. But that's a few months away to see what happens. Actually, two weeks away to find out if we go into the Europa. But Fabinho, an interesting dynamic on his card. Now with Liverpool. 
in the attack, we are seeing him as one of the most brutal counter attackers in the Premier League in, in the world as well. And uh, the way we got it set up in this new formation on FIFA 19 with 4 2 4, we have got a left wing of Sadio Mane, 87 rated, um, actually scored in the same goal for me as well, which you'll see. Four games, one goal, one assist. Um, very, very good uh, item, 95 pace, 88 dribbling, and uh, four star, four star high medium work rates. On the right hand side, we've got the highest rated Liverpool player in the team, which is Mohamed Salah at 8. 89, 93 pace, 90 dribbling, 86 shooting, and he actually earned his in actually one, two, was it one, two? Three. How many Liverpool cards were in that team of the week that week? Um, oh yeah, there was four. Mine Alden was the other one. So there's four Liverpool Team of the Week players in there, earned on international duty. And Mohamed Salah was one one of them, hence why he's got no dynamic image. Four games, two goals, one assist, and we're lucky enough to pack him uh, as well during the Black Cyber Monday promotions we got him, actually. Now, to finish off, this team does change. And the reason it changes is because uh, we got a flashback... Daniel Sturridge, um, which came in. Left foot dominant as well. Four games, four goals, one assist. He is a sneaky little player, and you don't really expect him to do much with the uh, f with, with uh, the style of player he is. He's a left foot, so you guys need to work to get him on his left foot and hit them time finesses. Uh, medium low work rate, so he sits back to get the ball. And next to him, to complete the team, guys, we have got the 87 rated Bobby Firmino, which is a Champions League base item, but it is still counted as a special, and uh, his work rates as well, high, high, so the attack is pretty much dropped back, and it's a bit all over the shop, but we did get some goals, and you can see Bobby Firmino, four games, three goals, and uh, and two assists, so that completes, guys, the best possible Liverpool team, the starting 11 anyway, because uh, I know the bench could be a bit better, and I, I could have used Markovic to get a silver pack, but I wanted to keep Markovic just to get another foot swap token card, and he's obviously getting a look in the team as well so that is it done the best possible liverpool team you guys can get currently on fifa 19 ultimate team if you weren't going to go and get lalana or you can't get lalana then obviously you would just swap in um wijnaldum and that would be the only change there or even a champions league Naby uh, as well but that is the uh, the team that's this is the one we played with with the foot swap item hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video if you want to see more of them feel free to leave some teams down below which you want to see done feel free to tweet me some completed teams as well and uh, the best possibles and i might do one every weekend or whatnot anyway but guys leave a like in the video subscribe not let's go and get into the highlights with the best possible liverpool team on fifa 19. So, I was excited to play with this team, mainly because I'm a Liverpool fan, guys. We're rocking, even rocking with the kits as well, and uh, having a play around. Actually playing playing online single matches for two of the games, and two of the games against subscribers as well, who dropped me an invite and did play against them. Now, Lallana setting up Daniel Sturridge with his right foot scores a goal. Not really something you would expect, but still gets the ball in, and Daniel Sturridge doing a nice dance to start off with in his flashback card. So, talking about the team individually, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, I think that it'll stay high priced only because he's a Liverpool English in form in the Premier League um, with that uh, I think his price will probably stay over 20k quite easily even though he's 82 rated do I think he's usable in people's teams I'd probably say not there is better alternatives um, as base cards in FIFA the two defenders second in form Van Dijk uh, currently we're using the Inform Van Dyke uh, in Fatal, uh, if you guys knew, and uh, he's pretty good, but this 87 one's absolutely fantastic. He just seems to sit uh, wherever you want him to, and uh, very rarely gets beat, out beaten. The only person who beats him on headers, who, have, who I know does it very easily, is Ronaldo. But then again, Ronaldo absolutely smashes the likes of uh, Ramos and Maldini to headers as well. Uh, so it can be proved very difficult. Uh, Inform Robertson, I think, is a very, very good left back in the Premier League. I know Marcus Alonso is the only higher rated one than him, um, but I do believe Robertson uh, could be a player which a lot of people would seek to put into their teams um, going forward. Uh, moving into midfield, foot swap Lalana. He's actually very good, um, very trendy, nippy little player, very agile, got a decent pass and shot on him as well. But the only problem is he's not widely accessible to everyone. Uh, unless you guys did do him in the foot swap uh, promotion in month one. Um, and Fabinho, I think, is a fantastic card anyway. His base version is fantastic. Um, the only way... That, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what the outcome of Fabinho is going to be, whether he's going to absolutely nail it in the Champions League, whether he's going to go up to a 90-rated uh, Europa League version, I don't know. What do you guys prefer? What would you want to see from the Fabinho card? Would you rather see him really go high-rated or... You're not really fussed. And are you one of the people who do, does use him in their uh, in their main teams? Because I have played a lot of games in, in uh, Division 1. And Fabinho is still that meta player which loads of people do use. Um, 
Now we can move up onto the attack. Sadio Mane he scored the rocket of a goal he scored uh, just before this one. And that was really the only thing he did for me. I was expecting a lot more, but he didn't. Uh, his pace, he gets the ball forward, but yeah, his shot is pretty good. The two strikers, Daniel Sturridge, left foot of dreams. Difficult player to play against, and I have done so. Um, and Firmino plays as a... I think he's more suited to the camp position, and he can play as that third striker. Very good player, um, but I think he's more suited to the camp position, just like he is in, in, in real life as well. Um, I don't think he is that go-to striker. I think he is more of a, a centre-forward slash uh, cam player um, in real life as well, and it does obviously represent well in FIFA. We also do have have um, the final player which is Mohamed Salah his finesse shot is like you guys know if you watch my videos you'll know that I say Michael Royce's finesse shots absolutely fabulous and the best in the game but uh, as a left foot Salah he has got an absolutely insane finesse shot and I think he's got a finesse shot trait as well um, the amount of goals I've conceded with him in rivals and in champs as well has been absolutely ridiculous but it's going to be a given, guys, especially when it's an 88 rated base card, 89 rated in form. Definitely worth the pick up. I don't know how much he is now. Some of you guys might have been lucky enough to get a red version of him. Um, a lot of you guys might have a full red Liverpool team. And if you have, I'm completely jealous with that. As I've only got one of the players, which is gutting. But um, with that, that is... And Alisson in net as well. Um, I still think De Gea is hands down the best keeper in the game. Anyway, I don't think Alisson's going to come close. Still a good goalkeeper. But does parry the ball quite a lot. And you can see one of the games we actually did concede a few goals. Anyway, um, as distribution-wise, Alisson puts the ball out nicely. Um, so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe. Leave a like rating as well. And feel free to let me know in the comments below if you want to see any more. Best possible done in the future. And if so, feel free to tweet me the teams you want to see built. And I'll try and do it. It's one of the reasons why I've got coins on the account. Is to do squads like this in the future. So, hope you've enjoyed the first best possible of the year. Have fun. And I'll see you all next time.